Media Matters put together a short compilation of Fox News and Fox Business. And it really shows you where their loyalties lie. Like, what is the whole point of Fox News and Fox Business Network? What's the point? Well, you're going to find out. It is certainly not to align with average people. Former Bain partner Ed Connard is with us today. Look, what Taylor Swift is having a go at and Elizabeth Warren is private equity. J.P. Morgan Chase Chairman and CEO Jamie Dimon joined me this week telling me what he thinks is working and what needs to be fixed in U.S. healthcare. Fat Brands Chairman and former McDonald's CEO Ed Renzi. Have at it. What would McDonald's be like if it were unionized? Protesters vandalizing a subway station. Joining me right now is CV Star, co-chairman and the former chairman and CEO of AIG. Andy Puzder joins us now, the former CEO of CKE Restaurants, author of the book, The Capitalist Comeback, The Trump Boom, and The Left's Plot to Stop It. The CEO of Royal Caribbean joins us right now. It almost looks like a third world. I mean, uh, like an out-of-this-world experience. Just looking at that, a, a popular vacation destination for so many, including, I'm sure, many of your cruise travelers. 40-day strike against General Motors. Former Ford CEO Mark Fields is here with us this morning. The now former CEO of Overstock.com. The, the men in black, as I call them, showed up and asked for this third favor. Redfin CEO Glenn Kelman joining us now. Joining us right now is the chairman and CEO of Citizens Bank. Patron Spirits co-founder, billionaire John Paul DeGioria. CEO of Verizon, Hans Vestberg. Mahoney Asset Management CEO. Former CEO of Toys R Us. Air Culinaire World Wide CEO, co-founder and CEO of Suited, chairman and CEO of Stiefel, CEO of BarkBox, Walter Wealth Management CEO, Euro Pacific Capital CEO, McKinsey Wealth Management CIO, Mississippi Cheese Straw Factory CEO, and JS Jacques CEO, Rio Tinto. You want to see a, a former director crap his pants? Pardon me. Go stick my, a, a uh, television camera on. Former CEO and chairman of UBS America. Co-founder of Warby Parker. Co-founder of PayPal. General Motors CEO. CEO of Delta. CEO of Sherry Lehman. CEO of EY. CEO of Petco. Divine Capital CEO. Get Payroll President and CEO. CEO of Optoro. CEO of Viagogo. Applico CEO. CEO of Wheels Up. CEO of the Wealth Consulting Group. CEO of Immersive Labs. CEO of Rex Exchange. CEO of the China Beige Book. CEO and managing partner of Rose Cliff. The CEO of Marcus and Millichap. Okay. Right, Founder and CEO of Papa John's Pizza. That is some real class solidarity, if I've ever seen it. Billionaires, CEOs, I mean, really what they are is the corporate executive defense network. That's their whole point. So I cover that and I point that out to make a very simple case. The case is if you are an average person with a regular job, and you're making normal money. Um, these guys aren't your friends. They're not your friends. They're not your allies. And uh, the stuff that they support politically is not going to help you and not going to fix your life. Um, and listen, they all support Donald Trump. Now, I admit that Trump, when he ran, he acted like a populist in many respects while talking about trade and jobs, but his policies match that of the billionaire class and the CEO class perfectly. Perfectly. He does everything they want. 83% of the benefits of his tax cuts go to the top 1%. 83%. All the tax cuts for regular people are temporary. The ones for the rich and corporations are permanent. 7 million people lost their health insurance under Trump. I've pointed this out a number of times. 78% of people live paycheck to paycheck. This is all really important. Sure, the unemployment rate is low, but people are underemployed as well. And that's not discussed. The stock market is really high, but that's just because of corporate profits and the rich. And stock buybacks. That's what that is. So it's not a reflection on how you're doing. But if you watch this network, they'll make you think like, everything's going so great. Yeah, for you, for the CEOs, for the billionaires... For the rich hosts, sure. Not for average people, not for working people. I'm just telling you. They're not on your team, son. <laughs> they're not on your team. They're just not. They're not looking to help you. They're looking to do the bidding of the owner class. Not once, oh, here's a worker. Here's a union guy. None of that. None of it. Here's somebody from Fight for 15. Nope. You don't see any of that. Anytime they bring on a lefty, it's to browbeat them, ever. 
a worker to browbeat them. It's never, ever, oh, let's see, uh, talk to this person like they're an expert. They brought on, uh, Fox Business and CNBC brought on CEOs of companies that went bankrupt uh, during the subprime mortgage crisis in the Great Recession and treated them like experts. They gave them the floor. Hey, say whatever you want. What's going on? What do you think of what's happening in the market right now? And they'd speak as if they're experts. Meanwhile, they're bankrupting their companies. And then, what's happening? They're getting bailouts from the government that they bought and own. That's what's happening. As Bernie points out all the time, oh, these guys say they don't believe in socialism. Oh, they believe in socialism. They believe in corporate socialism. Or corporatism, as we call it. Socialism for the rich. That's what that is. Bernie believes in Socialism for the regular guy. Social democracy. He wants you to have health care. You to have college. You know, you to have trade school. You to have higher wages. That's what he wants. He doesn't want to spend it on the military industrial complex and Wall Street and financial institutions. So, you know, make it that what you will. But I think it says something that, you know, that's what we see on Fox News and Fox Business. That is some real class solidarity right there with the billionaire class and with the executives. That's who they support. Don't get it twisted.